Oh, loving this. Gordo from uh, Gordo's uh, Backyard Tinkers. Uh, the little VZ again. Look, I'm sorry about so many videos on it. It's just that I'm, I'm using a phone currently, but I will get something a little bit better for future stuff. Um, but check this out. Fuck, I'm loving this. Really, really loving this. Uh, everything lines up mint. Top lines up on the left-hand side. We've transitioned over to the right-hand side uh, before, uh, well, prior to uh, transitioning to the right-hand side. We've set our primary chain up. We've got our top primary chain marked spot on. We've transitioned over to the right-hand side. Um, and double-checked our top-end marks by using that cam locker as I've showed, demonstrated in a video before. Um, and everything is just Mickey Mouse. Look at that, people. I love it when a job comes like this together. Are we having fun yet? But moving forwards, all I've got to do now is talk this up. Now, I don't talk anything up until, I just nip it up like loosely with my hands so it's secure but not flapping. And then I double check everything. And then I'll talk everything up, tensioners. Then I'll release the pins, rotate the engine, and make sure it's still free flowing. Um, and uh, everything, nothing's binding or anything, check like that, and then I'll actually put a bit of lube around everything. Now, for a torque wrench, I use a little mini torque wrench. You don't need a big six and a half foot torque wrench to torque these up. They are in minor torque settings. Um, according to, as you would know, on a manual, I'm not gonna tell you the torque settings because I want you to look for the torque settings. Um, so then you then eventually get a visual idea on how sensitive they are. All right, but that's for me from now on. I hope you enjoy the videos, and I will try and shorten them up a little bit uh, into one big, long video of a five, 10 minute job. Cheers guys.